Hi, first graders, it's Mrs. Schulte. We are going to start a project today called Beautiful Butterflies. After you've um, had your trip to the Meyer Gardens and you've seen all those awesome butterflies and you've learned all about the life cycle of the butterfly, now we are going to create a picture in a document of that life cycle using PowerPoint. So the first thing that you need to do, I've already created the document for you, is you go down and click on the file folders at the bottom of your screen in the taskbar. Click those and open it up. Now you're going to need to scroll down, and we've done this before. We're looking for something that says B Dale Lab. That's the drive where we have all of our file folders. So click there. Then you go to first grade and you click it one time and then we're going to click the word open. Then you click on Mrs. Holly's class or Mrs. Price's class depending on whose class you're in. You click the word open and then you're going to find your name and click the word open. When you get to your file you should see something that says butterfly life cycle. Now we're at the document we need, so you click that, click the word open, and here we go. What you're going to see is the PowerPoint that I have already begun for you. Now I'm going to give you a separate piece of paper to have next to your computer that has all the words that we're going to type into it. And the first word that you're going to do, you're going to click inside this box, and if you'll notice, I want to click at the end of where it says type here, and then I'm just going to backspace so that that erases or deletes it. And you're going to type in life cycle of the butterfly. Okay, now the first thing that you do is you go over to the box in the left, and we're going to type in the word egg. And that's all you have to do. Next thing you're going to do is go to the next box and you're going to type in the word caterpillar. Now did you notice that it didn't all end up on one line? My box is a little small. So I'm going to grab that box and make it a little bit bigger, pulling it. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to type in the word chrysalis and I have that spelled for you on the paper and then you're going to type in the word butterfly. All right now if you make a mistake and something happens and you're like oh no I didn't mean for that to happen there is a button at the very top of the screen. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a little blue arrow, and you can click that, and that's undo. It will go back. There's one more thing on this paper I'd like you to do. It says type your name here. Click right in there, and again, you have to kind of click at the end of it and backspace out of that, and then you're going to type your name like that. All right. Now, I know that that's going to take a while for you to do, but after you get all those things done, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on page number two. Go over to your left. Do you see that there's a page number two? We click on that. I've given you some choices of some butterflies and caterpillars and eggs and crystals, and you can choose which one you like. So let's start with the word egg. Do you like this egg or do you like the other egg? I like this one, so I'm going to click right on it. And then once I click on it, do you see how it's made a box around it? Now I have to right click. So that's on the right side of my mouse. It's not the side we normally use. And you're going to go up and click on the word copy. Don't use cut. Click on the word copy. Now we're going to go back to page one. And somewhere by the word egg, we're going to click again. And we right click with our mouse and then we're going to click the thing that says paste and there's like a little clipboard and it has a picture and you click that. All right now I don't really like where it is so what I have to do is I have to click it and drag it up to where I want it. I'm going to put it right there. 
Now we go back to number two and we are going to find a caterpillar. All right, which caterpillar do you like? Ooh, I like this one. Remember, we click on it, then you right click, and you're going to use the word copy, not the word cut, copy. All right, going to go back up to number one page, and you're going to right click, and then you click on the paste on the clipboard that pastes the picture in. And again, it's not where you want it, you can move it. Oh goodness, do you see that I spelled caterpillar wrong? If there's a red squiggly line under what you've typed, it probably means you spelled it wrong. So I can click back in that box, and then I put my cursor right where I need to fix something. Either I can delete it, or I can put it, um, let's see if that's how I spell it, caterpillar. All right. All right. Okay, and I'll help you if that, with that if you need help. Let's go back now. We're looking for a chrysalis. And here are my chrysalises down here. I think this one's pretty cool. I'm going to click on it. Now I right click, click the word copy. I'm going to go up to the top, going to right click and paste it. And then I grab it and move it down to where I want it. Go back to page two, click on it. It's going to be a lot of clicking today. And pick which butterfly you think is the most beautiful. I think I choose this one. All right, we are going to click on it, click copy with our, all right, go back up to the top, right click, click on the um, clipboard that says picture, and then you can move it back down where you want it to be. All right, now if everything looks good and it's where you want it to be, there's one more thing that you can choose to do if you want to. If you go up to the word design, you can choose a different background than what I have given you. I've given you a green background with butterflies on it. But across the top here, you will see that you could choose a different background, which had some different colors. And if you click along those, you can kind of see what you like and which looks the coolest to you. There's even a little box to go down a little bit. All right. So any one of those that you like, that blue one looks pretty neat, doesn't it? All right, and that is how we are going to finish our project today. All right, let's see if we can do it.